let's swap these two gateways out. This is my old gateway. This is my new gateway just received in the mail. Uh, it does come with instructions and all that good stuff, but I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. Take this power cord out. All right, where were we? Gotta use two hands, dummy. All right, so I'll take the power cord out, move it to this one. Simple as that, all right? That's the easy part. This part here, the, uh, this here, be very careful not to break this. You break this, that guy's gonna bill you $99 with AT&T. Take it out, just, just pull on the sleeve and pull it out, that's it. Super simple, all right? Lay this down, there's a little lever here. Grab this and pull it out. That's it, that's all you do there. Transfer this SFP to this here, okay? You just push it in. All right, now you make sure it clicks in. Super, super simple, all right? Make sure it's in. I don't see the little teeth. The little teeth are gone in here. That's good, it's, a, it's inserted properly. So you now grab this device here, okay? Make sure the red is facing that little slot. And see how it's kind of got an opening? Just slot it in, that's it, all right? Don't move any of these cables on either side just yet. Once this front, once this front starts blinking green, you're gonna go into your app, your smart home manager app, and then uh, activate the new gateway. So it, it, there's a little video and all that good stuff that it does. It's pretty cool. And we'll be back, right back once it uh, gives me a green glow. While I'm waiting, um, let's say you had this one called, uh, you know, the flash Wi-Fi, And then this one's ATT5525, whatever. With the smart home manager, whatever Wi-Fi name and password you had here, it's gonna transfer into this one once you do the, uh, the transfer on the smart home manager app, all right? Be almost green, almost green, and tight. Yeah, it's still blinking white. It's gonna take a little bit. Usually this can be done in about probably 20 minutes, round trip of everything. I'll come back when it's blinking green. It's gonna be a fast green blink. And there we have it. It's blinking fast green. That is what we wanna see. That's what we wanna see. Then you're gonna go into your app and hit the activation key and follow the steps of it. Then it's gonna locate it and that is it. Be right back. All right, I have activated it. It's gonna take a minute or two. Like I said, you're probably looking at 15, 20 minutes round trip for this thing. But it's worth it because once your gateway through some, some time, it goes bad. It links, there you go. So it's cycling now. It went green and white. That took the update, or it's taking the update. It means it's an update format. Once it's activated, I'll run a couple speed tests and we should be golden. All right, so right now, it's that Wi-Fi that I see on my, on my Wi-Fi list. It, the T3H is going to change from that into my Wi-Fi here in a minute or the Wi-Fi I have selected for my home That is when you know your services are completely activated then you can grab all the cables from the back side That you have on the other gateway and then plug them into your new gateway so Grab those cables back there And then you plug them into this gateway here and now it's blinking white. This is indicating to me that it's finally getting the, the, the settings of my previous gateway to my new gateway. If you have your notifications turned on on a smart home manager app, it will notify you that your Wi-Fi settings to this gateway have been automatically changed over from that gateway. So. All your devices should be linking up here shortly. And like I said, it's a good 20 minute round trip that I've been messing with this. Uh, it's worth it because you'll get a new gateway and it's up to date. Software's up to date. No more Wi-Fi drops or anything.
and just like that everything is swapped over everything's changed up that you have and that's it green is go we're golden Thank you very much for watching this. Oh, hold on a second, phone line. There we go. Oh, finally, I can get those phone calls that I wasn't caring about. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. All right, let's see what kind of speeds am I getting here. Seven millisecond ping, that's good. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. 750, good night in heaven. That's awesome. That is super awesome. I have the 5,000 gig service here, but God bless me. 5,000 meg service, not 5,000 gig, 5 gig service. Uh, you'll never see those, but this is a Wi-Fi 6 speed, and that's pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Worth it.